Hello YouTube, welcome back and get ready to get started on my next project. Uh, this one is going to be an animated uh, bust essentially. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be building a bust at the top. I haven't fully decided just yet if I'm going to try to carve it solely out of styrofoam or if I want to do it out of fiberglass, kind of like I did the Sitting Angel. Uh, but I do have, you know, I just picked up a head from like Hobby Lobby and that's, that's going to be about 27 inches tall overall. Uh, my base is going to be also about 27 inches overall. I'm going to use uh, two by sixes and plywood at the bottom to get myself a little more uh, weight on the bottom for a little, you know, for a little more stability. And the overall is going to be about 54 inches, which is about four and a half feet. For the mechanical aspect, I got a couple different ideas. Uh, one, uh, I'm going to start off by trying to use a uh, cheap fan. I picked this up; they're pretty cheap. You know, once you pull this piece right here off, I mean, this whole mechanism is all right here. You can easily attach something to here. Or I could uh, mount this upright and uh, find a way to attach something to the top. I'll be figuring that out as I go. You see, I have a couple different ways. One way was going to be putting it way down here, but then I can't take it apart for storage aspects. So I probably won't do that. Uh, another way is to, if I do it out of all styrofoam, to mount the motor way down here inside of a wood base that the bust will be sitting on top of. Run the uh, bar up inside of a piece of PVC so it acts as a guide. Uh, another way is going to be if I build it out of fiberglass to put the motor way up here at the top so I really minimize the amount that I got to put up here so it takes away from all the extra stuff that I have to do to, for stabilization. And then the other one is if I do it out of fiberglass and say I just don't have the room, you know, to essentially put the fan way up here because of the size of this, I just don't think it's going to fit. Uh, then I might have to put it down here and then do the whole rod aspect again. And then you just have some kind of bearing here that's going to act as a support system for that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, let's get started. What I'm doing here is pretty much the same thing I did on my uh, haunted bookshelf uh, prop that I built a while back. Uh, I probably built that like six years ago, actually. All I did is I just took just like a, uh, you know, just a uh, acrylic base, you know, water-based style caulking, something that dries quick, easy to work with. Uh, and what I do is I put it on in layers. So I did the first layer, as you see, which kind of defined it somewhat, I guess you'd say, the shirt itself, you know, the collar and stuff like that. Once this dries to the point where I can mess with it and I ain't gonna worry about disrupting it, then I'm gonna create like the tie. You know, I'll make like a little knot right here and have it go down into like the tie shape. Then after that, it gets to a certain point where I can where I can mess with it up, messing it up. Then I'll make what looks like to be the actual jacket that's gonna come down to the point. And then I'll, I'll, I'll make that distinctive, you know, kind of like line that kind of shows like where it's folded over. Like I said, I did this quite a while ago on the other one. It's held up perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it for this one too. All right, well, while I'm waiting for the caulking to dry on the bust, uh, the first layer of caulking, I started uh, taking all the plastics off the fan. 
and you see it's definitely much smaller more compact it's gonna be much easier to work with now um, this part right here I don't need this entire piece because uh, when you look at it the center point is right here anyways so all I really need is like this little cone portion plus I want to be able to get the cord out of there so this way I can get away with the cord messing with anything uh, so I'm gonna cut this off right here uh, the other nice thing about this is since I decided to do the thing out of the foam even when I glue the foam on top of the wood base that I'm going to build that this is all going to be anchored inside, I can always hollow out the bottom of the styrofoam a little bit for this to go up inside if I need to. So I can try to keep this thing as low profile as possible. And uh, you can see where, you know, here, let me, you know, with it being plugged in, I mean, you can see it's it's just going to, it's going to have a nice back and forth motion. Obviously, once I get rid of this, it'll, it'll be just down to that right there. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to, kind of be tinker with this, figure out a bracket system and um, get it ready to start making my base. All right, I'm gonna kind of show where I'm at at the moment. Uh, I went ahead and I made my base piece that the uh, bust is gonna sit on. Uh, I had to obviously make sure that it was big enough this way for the motor to sit in here. Uh, and make sure that this was centered and then I, I made it wide enough just wide enough for that to fit in there with just a little bit of play not a whole lot of play uh, and I got the uh, motor mounted to the base here uh, I just cut a piece of L angle uh, screwed it to the original screws that originally were holding it on to the uh, the plastic portion so this way it's nice and uh, you know anchored to this piece of wood the plastic piece I was on here I wasn't really able to use this so all I did is I just cut it off to where I have just a little bit of the the uh, uh, tube portion I guess you could say left so I can JB weld it around this little tube put some tape on here just if everything's dry so this way it locks it all in place that'll fit right over top of here and I can hook my linkage back to it so that'll give me my nice uh, linkage right there give me my nice back and forth motion and I have a piece of conduit right here uh, that I'll be cutting down to whatever length that I need this is going to be glued inside the bust and that, that'll essentially go over top of this nicely so now this gives me a nice little thing to keep this from wanting to do this right here it'll keep it nice and you know you know ri uh, pretty rigid but still have plenty of uh movement in there to spin freely with no issues so but i'm kind of at a point now where i can't really finish this until the bust is done and i'm not done with the bus so i gotta get that fully done then i can kind of finish uh working on this portion Okay, while I'm waiting for the next layer of caulking to dry on the bust, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the base. here I go changing my mind again I decided I don't really want to do it this way now I don't want to because I've already built one that kind of looks like this already so I really don't want to do another one that looks just like it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with uh, this I kind of was kind of experimenting with a couple ideas I don't really like this one I'm gonna kind of go with this right here where it's gonna be the same uh, straight up on the back straight up on the sides with a taper in the front and then come down to uh, a flat portion in the front and this is going to be probably about maybe a couple inches wider than what my my base is uh, both directions so when it sits on top of it it, it sits nicely on top so uh, i'm going to go ahead and start working on this this uh style instead I want to kind of show where I'm at at the moment and what my game plan is. Uh, what I did is I went ahead and I mounted uh, that base plate uh, that the motor's attached to to the other portion of the base. I have a hole drilled down inside there to you know run my cord through. What I decided to do is I decided to make it to where 
this is going to stay fixed to the base, but I'm going to be able to pull the bust off this base by using this right here. I just cut a small piece of thin wood, uh, something real small, so it's going to be, you know, it'll kind of hide a little bit. I uh, cut some trenches in it and ran some uh, little L brackets through there. I, I did the corresponding trenches in the piece here. What that's going to allow me to do is that's going to allow me to, obviously I got my hole drilled yet, to go right down inside here. Those are going to go down inside. And I'll just run one screw on either side, countersink it, so this way they kind of sit nice and flush. Uh, they kind of so they don't stand out. You don't see them once everything's all painted. It'll look good. And how I made these trenches right here um, is I just took a drill bit. I drilled like two side by side to make it wide enough for a jigsaw blade. And then what I did is I took my jigsaw blade. I took one of those brackets. I held it right here uh, and marked what my depth was. And then what I did is I just cut it off with a cutoff wheel and I made a point on there just to make sure as it stabs into it, it'll kind of, you know, kind of create a little more of a uh, area for it to cut through. I just, you know, I just put that inside there and just kind of went back and forth. I made like two or three passes back and forth like this until I had that whole section kind of carved out. I figured that was the easiest way uh, to essentially carve that out and do what I needed to do. But I'm going to go ahead and get this fixed to the base, uh, get my hole drilled in here so I can get this mounted on here. And then the bust is just about ready for me to put it on here and start figuring out uh, what, how much I need, how much of that tube I got to put in there, where it's got to come up and everything like that. So let's move forward. This is pretty much where I'm at with it. Uh, so I was going for kind of a suit and tie kind of look to it. Uh, it's still just a little bit soft, so I gotta let this dry a little bit longer, then I will get it mounted to that, and now I gotta work on doing some facial features on here. I wanna do, you know, kind of like some hair. I was thinking about maybe doing like an uh, older style mustache of something that's kind of from that era. I'm gonna look for some pictures of something that was definitely a long time ago, something that was kind of popular. And all that, but I'll do the facial hairs after I get the whole rig and everything work and make sure everything does its thing before I do that. So, but first, I just gotta wait for this to dry so I can get that mounted. All right, I don't have everything glued together yet, I don't have the mechanism hooked up. I just have it sitting there, uh, just to kind of get an idea of what I'm looking at as far as the overall height and all that. But this is essentially what I got going on. Next step is going to be once uh, I feel comfortable messing with that bust a little bit more, I will work on uh, the rig, find a way to make it to where uh, the head turns uh, with no real resistance so it moves nice and smoothly. And then I'll start working on facial features and then uh, we'll be on to paint soon. All right, I'm about ready to start uh, figuring out if everything is going to work out like I want it to. Uh, what I did here with my cap is, you see where I put this little bridge on here, you know, with a washer? Uh, what that's for is, I want something that if, say, like I go to, you know, I pull this whole bust off, I don't want this pipe to come with it every time. Or if I'm just pulling the head off for adjustment purposes, I don't want this to come off my, my rig. So the hole is big enough for this to go through, but not big enough for that bottom piece to go through. So this keeps everything locked in place unless I'm removing the entire structure. So that, that's all that's for. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, anchor this in place. Got those holes I drilled on the side. Okay, so the next step, I'm just gonna set the bust on top of there, turn it on and see how it moves, and then put my little sleeve in there and see if I, see if it looks like I got any kind of like drag or anything like that that's going to keep it from not spinning uh, nice and smooth. Now you can see on the bottom of the bust, I got it all carved out, so this way it goes around everything. All right. All right, so you can see, you see the line moving, so that, that shows that 
Everything is moving good. Uh, the next step is going to be to, for this to go down inside the bus. Now, this will be glued in there. Uh, right now, it just sits in there because I want to make sure if I got to adjust it, put it where I want it. But it looks to be okay. So the next step is going to be I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to glue that piece of uh, pipe down inside there that, so this way it locks it where I want it to be. When that dries, then I'll start figuring out how tall I want to make this. Uh, if I want to put something inside the head so it sits on here nice and snug and make sure that when it spins, it spins without, like, say, getting caught and not doing anything. So uh, that's the next step is to glue that in place and probably maybe even get the bus glued to the base. <clears throat> All right. I got me another design change. Uh, I started thinking about it, putting this inside that styrofoam. And making sure that it was perfectly straight, true, and the whole nine yards, and potentially not have issues with it in the future, I figured it's probably going to be a problem for me. And I kind of figured I already welded this uh, plate right here on it, so I might as well utilize that. So what I did is I took that piece of conduit, and I made sure not only was it straight this way, but straight this way, and I just welded it to it. So now this piece is now fixed to here, which is now fixed to this, so now it's all solid. It's, 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 it's like it should be, you know, nice and rigid. And then just for a little extra, uh, I took this piece of copper pipe, which slides over top of this with no problem, sanded it down a little bit, and made it fit down inside the conduit a little bit. So now essentially what I did is I added like a, uh, almost like a copper bushing inside here. And I just put just a little bit of oil on there just to help with any kind of lubrication. And it seems to be working really well. It doesn't seem to be having any binding. There's still a little bit of play in here, not a whole lot, but just enough to where I ain't got to worry about it, like getting stuck or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put some caulking on here. I'm going to go ahead and glue the bust into place. Once it, once it's dry enough to where I feel like I can mess with it without the bust shifting out of position, I'll go ahead and start figuring out, you know, mounting the head on here, figure out what I'm going to do to hold the head in place and make it to where that can turn with no problem. Then I'll style the facial hair on it, and then uh, we'll be ready to start wrapping this one up. I think I got the hair and the facial hair done. Now for the fun part of the waiting game, letting all this stuff dry. Uh, you kind of saw in the video where I was using a paintbrush. I like to use that because uh, as long as it zooms in, you see it gives me all those little fine lines. Kind of makes it look like hair. I also did that in the mustache and the beard. But this is definitely going to take a few days to fully dry before I'm really going to put any paint on it. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this video out. Uh, and the reason I'm going to close this video out is because I want to hear from you guys. Uh, let's uh, let's have a little bit of fun with this, and let's put this to a vote. What do we think that this bust should look like on top of this right here? Should it be a basic concrete, painted gray, texture it, age it looking bust? Should we go copper with the green patina uh, and kind of give it that look? Or should I paint it a bright white and age it just a little bit and kind of maybe give it a little bit of like maybe like a marble? Uh, kind of look. In the meantime, I'm going to be making a plaque that's going to go on the uh, base right there. It'll most likely be, you know, have like the RIP on it.
So whatever we make the top, I'm going to correspond the uh, plaque with it. So leave me a comment. Let's uh, put a vote to this. I would like to hear what you guys uh, think it should be. And then in a couple of days when uh, I'm ready to paint it, I will count it all up. So let's see what everybody decides. In the meantime, thanks for watching.